don't raise your hands about regardless of what the devil wants you to see something you want to come out. Now that something passed, it's the Lord will show you out. I, I think for us, it's about controlling what we can control. You know what I mean? And that's, that's hooping. That's basketball. That's what we, we did today, and that's what we can, we're going to continue to do. Kevin, there was a section in the story about Earl Watson having that conversation with Sarver where Draymond Green, you were on that team. Did you overhear? Do you remember any of that at all? Did you overhear that conversation at all during that time? Uh, no, I did not. Um, I wasn't aware of the situation and my seven years I've been here, you know, I haven't noticed that, but that doesn't, you know, make me insensitive to the subject. And, you know, I think the NBA open investigation, they're going to do their due diligence of, you know, bringing out facts instead of he said, she said, and, you know, I'm sure the NBA has it in good hands and do the proper research to, you know, find out the truth. There's a lot of things this can compare to Sterling. I see you were there. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, you know, situations are different. You know, uh, we, we dealt with that in that time, <clears throat> in that time when all that happened. I think right now, uh, like Book said, you know, we're not insensitive to everything that was said or whatnot, but, you know, we don't know all the details, right? So the NBA will do its investigation. And in that time, all of us on our team will continue to, to play and do what we do. What was that process like for you guys today? Because obviously, you know, the story drops to get on show, but you still have a game to prepare for and shoot around and all that stuff. So what was kind of your guys' mental approach today? I mean, I think, you know, we have a, a close-knit team that, that sticks together. And, you know, we obviously have conversations about it. But like Chris said, you know, we still had to show up to shoot around today. And, you know, we still had to play a game. So, you know, we're focused on basketball. And, you know, I think things will get handled how they're supposed to. Kevin, you know Earl Watson well. Mm -hmm. Do you consider him credible? Earl? Yeah, that's my guy. Chris, just you being a leader on this team, how important is it for you guys to kind of stick together? Obviously, we're not talking about putting a team, but how important is it for you guys to stick together as a group in this time? Uh, it's real important, real important. And I, I just like to say we got a solid team, like a solid team, a great group of guys. We communicate. Um, like I said, we control what we can control. We went out there and played, hooped. Um, you know, we, we understand, you know, we play for one another. We understand, you know, big picture. Uh, and I think that's what guys on our locker room, in our locker room are focused on right now. Chris, uh, on to seven <coughs> year, uh, we'll just hear that it's important like, to make it in this league that you know how to handle distractions. And you've been part of many distractions. So how important is it for you at this time, like, it's so fresh, but you guys still got to take one. Yeah, uh, it's it's important. It's important um, to stay focused, stay locked in. Uh, went through a few situations, um, you know, in, in my time in the league, and uh, you know, the the powers that be, they look into it, they do their investigations or whatnot. But I think the biggest thing that I've learned in all these years is that us as a team, we got to talk. You know, it's not about what everybody else saying or what everybody else telling you to do or what you should do. It's, it's about what we, how we feel as, as a team, as a unit, coaching staff, everybody within the organization. Kevin, let's see what you've been with this team for so long. Like, did you ever picture that you'd be going to something like this? No, I, I didn't. <clears throat> when, when you're obviously, you have to clear your mind and do it. Is it a relief to go out there to play at this time or is it hard to get your focus to go out and play? Uh, I don't think it's hard. I think for us, um, most of us, since we were kids, that's sort of our happy place. You know what I mean? You know, that's sort of like our sanctuary, you know, where when we get out on that court, um, that's what we focused on. But like we said, we'll, we'll wait like everyone else, you know, for the due diligence to be done. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to, you know, keep working. And how important is it to have a coach like mine <clears throat> that helps you all navigate through Perfect person, man. Um, and I heard his his quotes pregame. You know, he he's the best at that and managing situations and um, controlling the room and keep keeping people focused forward. And you know, that's what he's done with our team. You know, we we've talked about it as a team, and you know, you you can feel everything he says, and 
you know, we're sticking behind him. We're going to keep keep playing hard for him and winning basketball games.